I'm here with Mr. Jean Todd, who is president of the International Automobile Federation, the FIA, and who has just been awarded the World Telecommunication Information Society Award for his outstanding contributions to ICTs and road safety. Mr. Todd, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Thank you. Mr. Todd, some people would say that motorsports is the incubator of technology. Would you say that's correct? Mm, I mean, I could agree that uh, there is a lot of uh, progress through motorsport and uh, it's uh, a lot of those technologies would, which then can come to normal uh, road cars. But I mean, since uh, the history of uh, motoring. And on one hand, you, you're an advocate of speed, but on the other hand, you promote road safety. How do these two apparent contrasting drives match up? I mean, I, I would say first, you know, I, I have had some success in, uh, in motor racing. And uh, I mean, to achieve that, you need to have good people around you and you need to, to have discipline. And uh, if you want to be quick, you must be disciplined, you must be well trained, and you must do that in certain circumstances. And as we just uh, said, you develop a lot of new technologies. So then when you have a more global responsibility, as I do have as president of the FIA with two pillars, the motorsport and the support of any kind of uh, motoring users and even going to pedestrian. I mean, you feel you have a strong responsibility and uh, you feel that what you have learned from motorsport could be then applied. Then I go back to discipline, you know, and um, that's why we have, for example, uh, printed, decided the 10 golden rules. 10 golden rules start but when you are in a car, you put your safety belt. If you are in a racing car, much before it was compulsory in a lot of countries around the world, it was compulsory on a on the track. racing car or on rally car. So a lot uh, can be combined and uh, you know when you are used to do things at the extreme way probably it's just then more comfortable to apply that on normal uh, conditions. And uh, I will say maybe last but not least uh, uh, when you have had some success in your career uh, you need to open your eyes to what is happening to the society. And uh, you cannot stand that 1.3 million people die on the road, that 50 million people are injured, and uh, you feel uh, that uh, you can have a contribution to prevent that and to be a strong defender for uh, road safety as I am. And how do you foresee the collaboration between the FIA and the ITU in terms of road safety? I'm very excited. I'm very excited because I've been uh, meeting, uh, starting from the General Secretary, Ahmed and Toure, very committed people, very motivated uh, people. Our teams uh, have met over the, the last weeks and uh, definitely uh, ITU, uh, through all uh, ICT's uh, programs, I can uh, work uh, with the FIA and, and incidentally this morning we have presented what we call the golden rule uh, number seven. Um, pay attention, calling and texting makes me dangerous. So that uh, the first big program we are going to work together and bear in mind that uh, FIA is represented in 140 countries by 250 uh, members uh, and uh, we have about 80 million of motorists uh, around the world and we are going to make them being our ambassadors to the hundreds of millions of uh, road users to take calling and texting into consideration and uh, of course uh, I'm very much uh, looking forward for other programs we can uh, develop uh, together and use uh, this uh, big organization with uh, a member of the UN to be a kind of a strong partner with the FIA. It's an excellent initiative. Thank you very much indeed, Mr. Todd, for being with us today. Thank you.